the, the funny thing happens as you acquire wealth. And what happens is that, speaking of natural selection, I remember when I was uh, back in USSR and my English was a little, a little rusty, well, one of the books uh, that, that I read was The Night by Elie Wiesel. And Elie Wiesel, oh, he's, yeah. he's, you know, Holocaust survivor. So, you know, the wor some words I understood, some I didn't, but I got the gist of the story. And basically, it was it's a small, you know, novel about his experiences of being deported in a cattle train from, uh, from uh, Hungary to Auschwitz. While they were fed, while they were closed, there were normal people like you and me, standing over here, you know, disagreeing on something, agreeing on something, but generally being, you know, civil. Well, except maybe, you know. <laughs> uh, so generally we were civil. We're not gonna, if we see a loaf of bread, we're not gonna cut everybody's throat or kill each other for a loaf of bread, right? right. So before they were boarded into this train, cattle train, they were like you and I, you know, civil people minding their own business. All of a sudden, for several days, without food, any food whatsoever, without any water, people literally dying. I mean, not pretend, I mean, you know what happened, you know, in uh, those yes. years. I mean, dying, literally dying, starving. Somebody throws uh, a piece of bread into this uh, uh, cattle car. Guess what happened? They killed each other for it. They literally killed each other for a small piece of bread. The point I'm trying to make is that... He wants to see a country where we kill each other for that piece of bread. <laughs> the <laughs> point I'm trying to make... Go ahead, yeah, the, 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 point, the point that I'm trying to make is that... The, 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 We're not from around here. Well, he Sorry. Is, but he's actually so, originally from Russia, but go ahead. <laughs> but I'm not going back. Uh, yeah. So, so we always need to take care of our immediate needs. If you're hungry, if you're really hungry, I mean, if you're literally starving, to use the Biden's favorite word, literally starving, then you're literally going to kill another person for a small piece of bread. So that's the step number one. So you're not hungry anymore. So you want to get a decent living. So you do the best you can. Well, in this country, mostly legally. In the rest of the world, nah, like in Russia, at least a third illegally or whatever, you know, lacks uh, of uh, their legal system. So your next step is to have, you know, three basics. Food, clothing, and shelter, okay? So th that's the, the next step. Hierarchy of basic needs. Right. But then you get some extra money. You already have the house. You already have, you know, the best car you can think of. You have, you know, whatever electronics you can have. You can have stuff. as many stuff. Of stuff, stuff, you know. So you're basically, basically satisfied with whatever your immediate and somewhat beyond immediate needs are. So then what happens next and this is something that, for whatever reason, eludes a lot of people. You start thinking bigger than yourself. You start thinking about other people. You start thinking about charity. You start thinking about, well, essentially, maybe saving the world why one way or another. Because you no, no longer think about your own person when you're really hungry, or your family when it comes uh, you know, to a little bigger than you physically surviving. So what I'm getting to is that when you start, I mean, not you kind of approach that or other people start talking about corporations, drilling for oil, polluting. I mean, why would I want to do that? Why, I'm, I'm why, why, you would, of any of this. why would a corporation want to do that? Because it increases their profit No, margin. it doesn't. No, it doesn't. In this if society, in America, you it doesn't. Me, you mean to tell me that Appalachian Power Company in Virginia, uh -huh. which burns a lot of coal, mm -hmm. it's going to cost them more money to put scrubbers on their smokestacks uh -huh. so that the particulate matter that comes out of that smoke pack doesn't give children asthma, and they are fighting like crazy to put more scrubbers because it would cost them more money and it would decrease their profit margins. Do you, it's a fact. 
that is a fact. Do you believe in global warming? I, I believe that something's happening to this to this planet. I'm not positive what it is. I believe that humans are causing it, but there's no. I don't think there is actually concrete evidence in either direction that it doesn't exist or that it does exist. But I would rather uh, err on the side of surviving humanity than the risk of well, polluting all of us. Keeping our water safe, fresh. Yeah. Because well. That's the other thing. In the coal mines in southwest Virginia, uh -huh. they do what's called strip mining at the top. They take the top of the mountain off, uh -huh. they take the coal out of it, and they dump the what's left over. It's called the slurry. They dump it into the creeks. Uh -huh. Those creeks are waterways that people drink from. Do, 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 well, do, plus do, the erosion that occurs from when the that sides of the mountain. Okay, look, the, the, reason, the, the reason I brought up uh, global warming is because, is because there are certain things that can be measured, they can be studied. For instance, the quality of water, I mean, it's kind of fairly easy way to test, you know. The quality of air, it's kind of easy to test. To say, like in your example, that those parti specific particulars cause cancer, it's a little bit iffy. But, but what's, what's, what's really bothersome, what's really bothersome, is when there is not proven science particularly, when it, particularly when it comes when Exxon, to global when warming Exxon or these companies pay scientists to come out with rulings and and it's, studies it's, it's um, not it's not happening in america you don't for for why the do, why are you for so, this why are you so blind to the evils of corporation maybe i'm excessively see the evils I'll, I'll, of I'll explain why Blind to the evils of corporations, like all I'll, corporations, I'll, I'll, all they I'll care explain. about is the person. I'll, I'll explain why. I'll explain why. Because uh, because we live. If we talk about capitalism, yeah. we haven't had unfettered free market capitalism for maybe a hundred years. Now this That's is right, the back when Teddy this Roosevelt. Is, this is the country all of, the, uh, of re trusts. regulations. And there's not enough of them. Yeah, you're right. There's not enough regulation. So you think there is not enough? Look, yeah. we can we can scrub all the pollutants, yeah. all the particulars that are out there, forgetting that we have dust all, all over us. We have particulars, particulars all over us. I mean, that's the way we've lived throughout eight. Uh, ages and no, that's no, no, where no, we're no, going to yeah. live. But there's, a huge, the there's point, a huge difference. There weren't huge corporations burning massive quality. You ask the but people is, in is, Ohio why their trees there? have lost their color. Why, uh -huh. the, why the Smoky Mountains <laughs> down in Tennessee and in North Carolina, being up here you may not know about it, but uh -huh. they have killed forests down there and it has been proven that uh -huh. it is the smoke coming from the coal burning plants. Look, they're killing the trees. Look, if the, they're killing the trees, that's not doing us a whole lot of good either. Look, when, when you talk about the corporations, the corporations are not necessarily uh, mines. The corporations are not necessarily uh, the, the oil, oil, companies. oil companies or electric companies. I mean, we have uh, close to what, 10 million corporations in this country alone. 10 million. I'm uh, talking of, about, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the that company over there that runs Charlie's Sandwich Shop. I'm but, talking about Appalachian Power Company that has plants throughout North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, and Tennessee. But when you listen to, let's say, this gentleman who, oh, wants, he's, to, he's who, wants, who wants to murder you know, millionaires and billionaires, when they use the word corporations, I mean, there are 10 and million when, corporations. And the Tea Party that, people come up with signs that say uh, Obama is Hitler, what's worse than him? You're a Tea Party guy, and they've got yes. pictures of Hitler. They come and yell when people ask, I want a decent health care plan, and they tell them to shut up, we don't want communism. That's not a decent health care well, plan. Well, it's, it's a totally different, if you want to talk about that. No, but, can, but you're comparing we can, we can, this one guy, we can and talk I'm about comparing that. him to the idiots in your group, <laughs> and we've got excessive people in both groups, extremists on both sides. That's why... There's no civility left. Yes, and it's why I think it's important to talk like, like we are talking and not let him interrupt and yell. Common ground. Common ground. I'm actually, what, I, I'm actually working on a. I was I worked for public television uh -huh. for 28 years, mostly uh -huh. doing history documentaries. And when you talked about the gentleman that died at, at Auschwitz, I knew a gentleman who was taken in Poland and Warsaw, and 39 September 3rd of 39. 
He and his brother survived seven death camps. His brother died in January of 45. He came out in May of 45. So I, I can, and I know the man personally. He's now dead, but I, I, I knew him personally. Uh -huh. But, but back to what we we're saying. Well, I worked for public television. I am now working with a former delegate, House of Delegates, a legislator in the state of Virginia, who's a Republican. Uh -huh. And you know what he says? He says Fox lies to the people on the right and tells them what they want to hear. And MSNBC lies to the people on the left and tells them what they want to hear. And he wants me, he's being a Republican conservative, me being a member he's of Occupy. Very, very wealthy right, man. Very wealthy man. <laughs> very wealthy. Man. Uh -huh. very well. well, his family just gave a million dollars worth of art to the University of Virginia. So that's that's See? just one little side. See? Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah you, have, you have to praise millionaires and billionaires because that's oh yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot of good things. My brother-in-law is a is a millionaire, and my sister is quite happy with that. <laughs> so, so I mean, what's he's not a bad what's guy. this thing? He's I, also I saw, a Democrat, though. He's also an Obamaite. I, I saw one percent, I think, in the back of oh ninety nine. Oh ninety nine percent. So what exactly? What's what's this thing with ninety nine? The ninety nine percent are all the rest of the people that don't make over half a million dollars a year, which is ninety nine percent of the country. But are you talking about the country or are you talking about the world? You know that all of us are top 1%. You and me. Oh, compared, all the people compared over to the here. people living in rural Africa? And, absolutely. I mean, there are 7 billion people in the world. I mean, we 300 million. But, but we're talking about American politics. I'm not talking about African or Putin or talking about. And what, what's the third best economy in the country in the world right now? What's the third best economy in the country right now? The third best economy third in the country? The strongest economy in the world. What's the third strongest economy in the world? Well, the, the strongest is uh, the United States. Yep. Uh, the second one, if we judge by GDP, the second one is, is, China. Uh, is China. And the third and, one is uh, a the social third one, democratic country. The, the third one is, uh, a social Ger democratic is it's country. Germany. A socialist country. Germany is the yes. third. Yeah. But, they're, but, but it's they're not a great it's economy. not they're socialist. Capitalist. Yes, they're, they're capitalist. They're a social democratic country. They're not socialist. That's exactly. Do they get free education? It's Do social. They get free Look, we're we're, I understand. we're we're getting back to the same a social it's not, democracy. It's social not socialist. There's a huge difference. Okay. It's, it's a hard okay. core capitalist country with a lot of social programs. Yeah. Which makes We no, need more social programs. No, we don't. Country. No, we don't. We absolutely don't need more social let programs. The, let the poor die from lack of health No, no, don't exaggerate. See, I, no, let, let don't exaggerate. You, let me explain to you. I, yes. I worked for a company for 28 years. Yes, uh -huh. it was PBS, which a lot of conservatives hate PBS because they lean left. But anyhow, I got in. I don't really think they lean that left. You know what I focused on? Uh -huh. World War II documentaries about the heroes of our region and uh -huh. Civil War documentaries okay. about how this country changed. Okay. And that's that was what I mostly did. I also did political shows. Uh -huh. But usually with a right wing guy, and I was the producer director, he was the host, just like I'm going to do with this show called Common Ground. But back to the original point I worked for public television. I worked there for 28 years. Uh -huh. I'm 61 years old. I lost my job. I was on unemployment for years. I was able to pay health insurance. Now, I don't have enough money to pay health insurance. If I got sick, you're going to pay for my health insurance. And she's going to pay for my emergency care at the hospital. Is that fair? I oh, for here years. comes the word fair. Is it equitable? Look. Is it right? Look. Is it morally just? Look. That's a better word. Is it morally just? Look. Look. Is it morally just? Answer that. Let me. Let, let me. No, just answer that. Is it is it morally just? Morally yes just no? to pay for your medical bills. For for us as a collective country. Oh, you love the word collectivism. <laughs> That's part of Russia. <laughs> but anyhow, the origins of communism was collectivism. But anyhow, allegedly. Yes, allegedly. allegedly. But anyhow, but the idea of us collectively helping each other out through slightly higher taxes is a good idea. 